Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve problem 4.48 from Sadiku book. So the question is determine the Norton equivalent at terminals AB for the circuit in figure 4.115. So this is the circuit and the first step that we need to find out is to find the short circuit current at AB or that will be the Norton current I N. What is I N? So it is the short circuit current. So we short A and B and we need to find out what is this current is. So this is I N. Okay. And I think the easiest way to solve this problem in this case is by using uh, KVL. So this is, we know that this is 2 ampere, right? And then we have this as I N. So we can use KVL at loop I N. Let's do exactly that. KVL at loop I N. KVL said that the sum of the voltage in a loop will equal to zero. Let's start from this 4 ohm resistance. So we will have 4. And now we are working on IN. So we put IN first in here. And remember IN is going up, but then 2 ampere is going down. So I will have IN minus 2 ampere here. Good. And then we have a voltage source and the current is flowing from the positive side to the negative side. So I will have positive sign here and the value is 10 I0. What is I0? We will see it later. And then we will have the last component. We will have 2 ohm. So I will have 2. But then we need to multiply it by the only current that passed through it which is I n. All of that will equal to 0. Now what is I0? I0 is the current that goes down from here. So what is it? The current that goes down is 2 ampere and then I n is going up. So I will have I0 here is equal to 2 minus I n. 2 minus I n here. Good. So now let's plug that in to this one. So I'll have 4 I n minus 2 and then plus 10 multiplied by 2 minus i n and then plus 2 i n and that will equal to 0. I think we can solve this for i n from this equation first. So I have 4 i n and then minus 8 by distributing this 4 and then let's distribute this 10. So I will have 20 minus 10 i n and then we will have plus 2 I n. Good. All of that will equal to 0. Now we will have 4 plus 2, 6, 6 minus 10. 6 minus 10 is just minus 4. Minus 4 I n. And then minus 8 plus 20, that will be plus 12. All of that will equal to 0. Or we can make it 4 I n is equal to 12. And so we will have the Norton current here is 12 divided by 4. 12 divided by 4 is 3. So we have the Norton current is 3 ampere. Okay, I think we have a good job from here. And let's save this value here. And I need to clean up the board because for finding the other variable, which is the Norton resistance, we need a completely different circuit. Okay, let's see what can we do from here. Let's clean up the board first. Okay, the next thing that we need to do is to find the Norton resistance here. So I clean up the circuit here and what is the Norton resistance? It is the resistance seen from this point here, A and B, but then with all the dependent sources turned off. And that means that 2 ampere is replaced by open circuit. So let's replace it by open circuit here. Where is it? 
okay so we replace that to ampere by open circuit like this good now let's paint it white but then we have this 10 io dependent voltage source so we need to put a dummy source here between a and b so we'll have one volt here i just set the value of one volt there so I have one volt okay and this is i0 so remember that this is just one loop all of them are in series so this is i0 right so we will have i0 here i0 there uh so this form a loop there right this is loop i0 but to find out brn we need to find out it by using ohm's law here so we know that the ohm's law uh, the resistance is voltage divided by the current we know the voltage which is one so one divided by the current the current is i0 so one divided by i0 but the question is how to find i0 i think we can use kvl at this loop here so let's do kvl at loop i0 kvl said that the sum of the voltage in a loop will equal to zero and let's start from this one volt voltage source so we'll have minus one because the current is flowing from negative to positive and then we will have plus two i zero good and then here again the current is flowing from negative to positive so the sign will be negative and the value is 10 i zero so we'll have minus 10 i zero and then plus we will have 4 i zero 4 i zero there all of that will equal to zero so we will have minus one two plus four is six six minus ten is minus four so i have minus four i zero all of that will equal to zero and then is that so six yeah i think that is the case so we will have minus 4 i0 is equal to 1 therefore i0 is equal to what is this 1 divided by minus 4 okay so we'll have minus 0 0.25 uh ampere yeah but then we have the our norton value here so we will have our resistance here so we'll have rn is 1 divided by minus 0 0.24 25 therefore our the norton resistance is minus 4 ohm minus 4 ohm so we have in and rn there we just need to draw it so we will have this one is 3 ampere and then we will have that one is minus 4 ohm So we'll have minus 4 ohm. This is A and B. And this is the answer for this problem. Why it has minus 4? So this indicates an active circuit. Okay. So that is all for the problem. See you in the next video. Bye bye.